very mediocre. Among the 26 opponents on the other side of the screen is the man who trains Agnew, not in Chicago, but down in Houston, Texas. The rumor was that you sparred with this man at one point. Do you have any memory of that? No, I don't have any memory not of that. Not necessarily nobody gonna beat me in sparring, but if you just hit me hard in sparring, I got something against you, I'm looking for you, and I don't remember. Promotions, the promoter for Sergey Kovalev, and promoter Kathy. The big ticket seller here, and Evander Holyfield, and guys like and now they're in the ring. Uh, let's get her ready to rumble! Cedric L-O-W Agnew Sergei Russia WBO Championship of the World. Protect yourself a little. When I tell you break, step back, protect yourself. Good luck, touch him up, best fight to win. His promoter, trainer, manager, his people feel that he's the goods and so who would fight Kovalev for the money. There are high hopes for Agnew. Round one begins. Remember that Kovalev's four knockouts last year all took place in the last fight. December 7 in Quebec City in Canada, Ismail Salah. The great John David Jackson was also a Southpaw. Okay. See what I'm saying? Agnew comes off the ropes with a three punch combination behind Agnew's guard. Forward like Mubalev, don't like the, the, the fight going backwards. Kovalev looks at Agnew's southpaw stance. Remember that none of last year's four knockout victims were southpaws. Just better punching power, though. Which has been affected, apparently, as a pro because of hand problems. And Kovalev has been known pretty repeatedly to use the first round as a kind of to unload the real firepower in the second round. Yeah, what makes Kovalev so tough is that he's not only a really big punch, he gets heated up. Those hands keep Get coming and coming. A low blow from Agnew, and you saw Kovalev go to the canvas after the low blow. Yeah, I know you're gonna get a point. You understand that? You do it again? You're gonna do it again? No, no. Well, I think Agnew's job is to not let Kovalev get that rhythm established. Time! The low blow in the closing seconds. Yeah, nice and smooth. With a straight right hand up the middle, whipping a left hook okay. behind the guard. Keep, Keep the rounds uneventful, because usually eventful means he's so hurt. He's also keeping Kovalev at a distance, because he's not allowing Kovalev to come in tentatively, or just his wide open onslaught on him. Kovalev has to come in. Respect. He has to because he's felt the punching power, and Agnew is not, not giving up ground just because Kovalev attacks. Now Kovalev beginning to unload. Yeah, Kovalev is blocking a lot of shots. Yeah, but he's taking Changes. Kovalev throws nice, short, hard punches. Both the first time he allowed Kovalev to unleash like that without disruption. And that's why Kovalev never been, never been past eight without having sustained so much damage that he can't be effective. Might be a game to Kovalev. Oh, oh, Down goes Agnew on a left hook. There's that Kovalev power. The power. Yep. Six, seven. Can't let him continue to hit you. First knockdown of Cedric Agnew's career. Good round, good round. Nice one, out. Take your time like you're doing. He's just trying to, he's trying to get you into the later round, trying to punch yourself out. Take your time and keep picking it. He's see Kovalev go with the right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook, then followed by a straight hook, or uh, kind of like a jab hook. One, followed by that last one, it's more like a straight left hand, actually out of a southpaw position, with his left foot out of 67, 12 of them were power shots. The last one, the left hook, that put Agnew on the canvas. Agnew of 24. Agnew comes out as though he wants to fight. Oh, he granted a big left hook there, Agnew. 
because he will pick a hole. Well, as I said earlier, Agnew is back on the ropes most of the result fight. of a dramatic storm, which is taking place outside in Atlantic City right now. A storm so violent. Hard right hand by Kovalev. Just missed a, a fight finishing left hook. Kovalev's attention with a crooked punch upstairs. Kovalev also landed a very good body shot in that combination. Drives Agnew back into the ropes. Agnew's professional career, he's tasted that type of power. For sure, but with headgear and... Another big left hook by Kovalev. That Agnew's gonna hurt. hold on. Kovalev has guard mashing power. Agnew's guard was up, it didn't matter. <laughs> That's the only thing wrong with the defense. You still feel the, the power of the punches when your guard is up. Yeah, we got to suck some air out of him, okay? Mm -hmm. Right now, son. Good work, good work, good work. Be alert, be smart. How is Kovalev only 175 pounds? Look at the size difference with these guys. <laughs> Two fights ago, he's lost only one round on the official scorecards. That's the round you mentioned. And I believe that's certainly still the case. Ten punching for Kovalev. So after three Ooh, rounds, I have the Kovalev. effect on Kovalev that Kovalev's assaults have on Agni. And because Kovalev keeps his time, the looping punches are hard to see, and they're very powerful. Breaks that get off. Oh, hit butt. First Kovalev's career, he's cut outside the right eye. So he's been hit by a load. Breathing through his mouth, does it look like to you, Kovalev Roy? Yeah, he is, but... He's so hard. He's after he's he's so hard right now. He's angry he about got a busted eye from the headbutt, so he's facing some adversity here by, by Kovalev standards in recent fights. Right, and I'm I'm interested to hear what John okay, Davis. Okay, we're back. Give me the one. Headbutt. Careful when you attack a guy like Agnew. He goes down and slip a punch. He doesn't mean it, so it's not intentional, but the head comes right up into Kovalev's eye. He Same also threw North Carolina and asked Don, said, Do you think I'm a hard enough hitter to be a professional? <laughs> Turner thinks that Kovalev's an all time great puncher. He thinks but that here's the curse of the gifted, or at least the heavy handed. If cut eye, hit low, how does Kovalev respond? He'll be fine, man. So if you're a Kovalev opponent, you want to get into those late rounds, which means don't take too many chances. The late rounds, which he feels Kovalev has less in the late rounds, and he's right. From Agnew. He's losing every round, but he's taking Kovalev's shots. He can survive. He's going to have to go more on the offensive. Big and all for those. In the middle of the ring. Okay. Warm night mm -hmm. here inside the theater Let's in Atlantic City. Turn the base up That's now. it. We have to. You can definitely breathe. Okay. Take your time. Keep your nose. Side to side foot movement. Generally cautious approach. Here we are in the sixth round. Knockdown. Four. As Sammy Five. is going to say that Cedric Agnew's knee, as far as Sammy was concerned, Sammy Drew went the referee. He was low enough. I heard him with a jab to the body, actually. Yup. You can see Agnew's favorite. going right there with the hook. And Agnew's starting to swell up now. Mm -hmm. The left eye is starting to swell up. And that's where the problem comes. He's trying to absorb. Kovalev trying to find something that'll go through the guard. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Throwing a couple desperation, looping left hands when Kovalev really gets down. Back and measures again. Another left hook from Kovalev. Agnew. He's hoping to shock Kovalev with one big Come punch. Three right. punch combination he just threw. Right there. That's what Agnew wants. Into that left hand. Blood outside the right eye. Blood in the left eye as well. Kovalev goes to the body. Nine. You cut him twice. Huh? You cut over both sides. What? A combination. Jab to the body. 
followed by a right hand left hook to the head, but he just squats down the corner as though he's down. And I think he hold man, hold. Come on. Real quick, real quick. Steve Weisfeld, our rules that scored the last round 10-8 for Kovalev because the referee called it a knockdown. So after six rounds, I have Kovalev on my list. Oh, this time, Agnew goes he took in the last five, round. He squatted down six, as, as though he was going seven, down. This time, eight, because it was a body shot, nine, he had to go down. He's done. Impressive win. Against the guy where there's virtual no, tape no. on him. He's a very successful amateur. Yes, oh, undefeated. Kind of had been 12 rounds twice. Had been 10 rounds. Showed yeah, up to him to go down right here. And he went all the way down this time, which is where he, it was a jab to the body. There's the jab right there to the body. He fanned him like he was going to throw a head shot. And Kovalev protected protect the guy as a fellow fighter. See, so he fanned the right hand and then hit him with a straight jab to the body. Same jab you heard him with in that left ear. Fascinating. Perfect faint right hand followed by a jab to the body. Please, please. And you see him squat down right there. That's just what he did in the corner of the previous round, just that he didn't get a chance. And now let's go to Michael Bumper. The for WBO the light heavyweight champion of the world, ah, Sergey. My baby. Crusher.